Assalamu alaikum students today our topic is elements compounds and mixture okay and uh, uh, we are going to discuss uh, about the elements in detail um, about the different kinds of elements uh, its uh, properties and also uh, how to represent the symbols how to represent the elements in symbols and what is a valency so basically we discuss uh, three uh, terminologies today okay so let us start so elements in the uh, early age not only nine elements carbon gold silver tin mercury lead copper iron and sulfur were known so these are the nine elements that are discovered at the um, at the uh, early ages okay uh, at that time it was conceded that elements were the substance that could not be broken down into simpler units by ordinary chemical processes at that time people think that uh, uh, the things that are not uh, broken into simpler uh, into simpler cells units so these type of things uh, these type of substances are known as elements until the end of the 19th century 63 elements had been discovered so there were a vast discovery there were a, there were a vast discovery of the elements were a kit um, uh, because uh, as we already learned that uh, uh, at this at the early, early ages there were only nine elements but with the passage of time uh, people discovered more elements and it's a, a number uh, increases day by day and uh, reach 63 elements okay so now today's 118 elements have been discovered out of 92 are naturally occurring elements and the remaining are the synthetic elements okay so modern definition of elements this is a very very important what's the definition of elements so let us read uh, it is a substance made up of same type of atoms having same atomic number and it cannot be decomposed into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means. So the substance that is made up of a same type of atoms uh, with the same uh, obviously if uh, if uh, any substance is made up of the same type of atom so both atoms have the same have a same number a same atomic number so uh, the substance that is made up of the same type of atoms uh, and cannot be decomposed into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means means uh, that uh, uh, that is not decomposed easily okay so these type of substances are known as element okay it means that each element is made up of unique type of atoms that have a very specific properties okay so we uh, already know that every atom has a unique property due to its uh, uh, due to its number of electrons due to its movement of electrons due to its uh, electronegativity due to its, its electropositivity so every atom has a unique property uh, uh, have a unique property so um, we can say that every element have uh, also a unique property okay so elements occur in nature in a free or combined form so there are basically two categories of elements some elements are occurred in a free state and some elements are occur in a combined state okay all the naturally occurring elements found in the world have different percentages in the earth's crust oceans and atmosphere uh, these these three type of elements are shown in the table so let us read the table so naturally occurrence by weight of some major elements these are the major elements so the uh, there are three basic categories are shown in the table the first one is a crust of earth so uh, basically crust is the is the is that layer where we lived um, and oceans and the third category is atmosphere so the percentage of the oxygen in the in the crust uh, in crust of earth is 47 percentage and the silicon is 28 percentage aluminium is 7.8 percentage these percentage are very very important for the mcqs okay so you have to study very attentively very attentively the so let us read the composition of uh, elements in the oceans okay 
the ox the composition of the oxygen in the water is 86 percentage hydrogen 11 percentage and chlorine is 1.8 percentage so why the percentage of oxygen is very high in the oceans because there are a lot of um, aquatic animals that are lived in the uh, in the water so these aquatic animals need the oxygen as well so uh, that's why the percentage of oxygen is very high in the water okay so now let us read the percentage of the atmosphere this is a very very important and we uh, should know it what's the percentage of gases that are very that are present in our atmosphere um, so nitrogen the percentage of nitrogen is 78 percentage oxygen is 21 percentage and argon is a novel gas and its percentage is 0.9 percentage so basically oxygen is very necessary uh, because we absorb the uh, we inhale the oxygen for in the respiration process okay and nitrogen is also very important for the nitrogen cycle so now come back to the paragraph uh, it shows concentration of these major elements found in the three main system of our environment we already learned so elements may be a solid liquid or gases so we uh, now we discuss the element in different states uh, element may be in the form in the solid form in the liquid form or gases majority of the element exists as a solid uh, for example sodium copper zinc gold these are uh, exist in the form of a solid state okay there are very few elements which occur in a liquid state like mercury and bromine mercury is present in the uh, in thermometer also so uh, these are those elements that are present in a liquid state okay a few elements exist as a gases for example nitrogen oxygen chlorine and hydrogen as we already in the table so these are the gases that are exist in the gaseous form okay on the basis of their properties elements are divided into metals non-metals and metalloids also these are another category of the elements so elements may be in the form of metals non-metals and metalloids is the is the more uh, is the is that material that are um, that are uh, exist between the category of metals and non-metals okay about 80 percent of the elements are metals okay so major part of a living body this is a very very important box major part of a living body is made up of a water as we already know that is 65 to 80 uh, percent by mass six elements continue about 99 percent of our body mass so there uh, so we discuss about the distribution of elements in our body six basic elements that compo uh, that uh, covers the 99 percentage of our body mass okay so what uh, what are these elements um, are known as these elements are also known as bio elements because these elements are present in the body of a living organisms okay so let us read one by one uh, the first one is oxygen 65 percent carbon 18 percent hydrogen 10 percent nitrogen 3 percent calcium 1.5 and phosphorus 1.5 percent there is no trick to learn these percentage you just learned it and keep it in mind uh, okay so uh, the these are elements that covers the 99 percentage so uh, how many elements uh, covered the one percentage that is remaining out of a hundred so let us read those elements potassium sulfur magnesium sodium constitute 0.8 percent of our body whereas copper zinc fluorine chlorine iron cobalt and manganese constitu uh, constitute um, only 0.2 percent of our body mass so 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 is equal to one percentage so one percentage covers uh, these elements covers the one percentage and uh, these elements cover the 99 percentage so 100 percentage is completed now okay so the most important important thing is that how we write the elements in the short form the elements are represented by symbols which are abbreviation for the name of elements 
okay so just uh, just like that we use the nicknames and we use the short form of the names of the in, in the human beings just like that elements also has a symbol and also has a small uh, small abbreviations uh, um, uh, small abbreviations to uh, write the formulas easily okay a symbol is taken from the name of that element in english latin greek or german if uh, it is one letter it will be capital like hydrogen we write the hydrogen in the capital uh, we write the hydrogen um, when we write the symbol of a hydrogen we use the capital h okay and uh, and for nitrogen and c for carbon uh, in case of two letters in case of two letters the first letter should be a, a capital and the second uh, should be a small okay just like a calcium for uh, ca for calcium and if for sodium and cl for chlorine okay this is also very very important definition you just learn the definition and uh, write the example of one letter uh, with symbols of one letter and also uh, symbols for the two letters okay so um, the unique property of an element is valency this is a very very important topic a valency is basically the unique property of an element uh, another definition is that it is the combining capacity of an element with the other element so uh, like uh, uh, hydrogen uh, the valency of hydrogen is one so it's mean hydrogen uh, hydrogen uh, have a capacity to make the one bond with another element okay so we can say that valency is the bonding capacity is the combining capacity of any element okay so let us see the examples um, this one is the hcl so um, uh, this uh, this bonding clearly shows that hydrogen have a capacity uh, have a hydrogen the valency of hydrogen is one so hydrogen makes the bond only one with other element okay in this oxygen has a capacity to make the bond to make the two bonds so oxygen make the bond with the two hydrogens okay in this um, in this um, formula uh, the nitrogen makes three bonds so it's mean the valency of nitrogen is three and in this the uh, valency of uh, carbon is four so that's why the carbon makes the four four bond with hydrogen okay so i hope you understand that so uh, in this paragraph i just briefly uh, describe the concept uh, why um, by all the elements or atoms makes the bond because they want to complete the they want to complete the octet rule and they want to attain the electronic configuration of the noble gases so noble gases why noble gases are stable because the the um, outermost shell uh, and the uh, the outermost shell in the noble gases the outermost shell is completely filled that's why they are the most stablest gases in the world so all the atoms or elements want to attain that stability okay so that's why they make the bond with other elements okay so um, in this paragraph uh, uh, there is also um, uh, uh, there is also the concept of uh, losing and gaining the electrons when any element uh, gain the electrons then then it attain the negative charge and when any elements uh, lose the electrons then it attain the positive charge okay so this is the uh, table of the valency of uh, common elements and it's a very very important you have to learn it uh, so uh, i hope you understand the today's topic so take care allah hafiz